But a redfin hole is over there and it looks like it's got a tree across it this year which is a bugger. And I've got to get down through here, across there and through that jungle to get to it. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Folks, today I'm going fishing for a redfin in a creek that I've done really well in this time last year. It's the middle of May and I've done well here last May. It's a bit of a battle to get into it, but I caught some larger fish here last year and that's why I'm using a three inch soft plastic with a really small little jig head. I'm upsizing my lures because I know there are bigger fish in here, but I've just got to work out how to actually get down there. <laughs> Right now I found a way in. I'm tangled in blackberries. This tree wasn't across the creek last year, that's gonna make it harder. And here first cast with a stry tiger three inch curl tail grub in banana shock colour. And I didn't open my bale so it didn't go very far. Now I've done well in this hole last year in May. I don't think I've actually been back since. This tree is a real problem because just there, it's too deep. It's like three feet deep and uh, this time of year, I'm not getting that wet. There's got to still be big redfin in here, I reckon. I do catch one, I'm not sure how I'm going to land it. Got him! Yes, they're still here! Whack! Oh, look at that for a lovely redfin! He's a beauty! I'd made three or four casts up there and no good. I thought I'd just bob one in amongst all the snags here. And bang, look at that! Gee, you hit that hard. Now, how do I get it out? This is a good 35 centimetre fish or more. Oh God, yeah, he's a beautiful fish. Please don't get off. And he didn't get off. Have a look at the size of this. Look at that for a redfin. Trying to get in the right light. That is a ripper. I'll see if I can get a photo and a measure. Then I'm going to put it back. What a donkey! Well folks, I forgot my measuring tape, but I'm going to use my eyeometer. I reckon that's nudging 40 centimetres, that fish. That is a proper donkey. Big red fin, see you later mate. <laughs> I would have loved to have laid that redfin down on the ground and got a photo next to my rod, but as you can see, the spot that I'm in is quite uh, quite overgrown. All I've done then, I just lowered that down there, let it sink, I thought I'd try in the timber. I just went bob, 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 and bang! He hit it like a freight train. Right, well, folks, I've done with this spot. I only caught the one fish, but what a fish it was. An absolute monster. I reckon it's got to be nudging 40 centimetres at redfin. Anyway, I'm going to bash my way through the... the dense vegetation and make my way downstream to a hole, another hole that I've done well in last year and see if there's a fish there as well. Look what I just found in my bag, a tape measure. It was there all along, bugger it. Oh, well, I hang it around my neck now like it's designed and know that it's there if I do catch another big one. 
as you can see here I've changed soft plastics I've gone to the Strike Tiger white bait pearl in 1.5 inch only half the size of the yellow or banana shock that I was using earlier Yes, oh, another good one. It's another donkey. This time it's on the white bait pearl grub. Gee, where's letting go? I don't think he's quite as big as the last one. It's amazing. I probably had eight or nine casts in here before I hooked this fish. When redfin pull drag. I don't know how I'm going to land it again. Can I get in here? Or is it a steep drop like the last spot? He's not as big as the last one, but I'll be able to measure him here. I've got a bit more room to move, and I have found my measuring tape. Oh, he's similar to the last one, actually. Very similar. Oh, I, had him. I thumbed him, and he got off. You got a lot of power. Not just long, but very fat. Have a look at that for a redfin. The last one I reckon was 40. I reckon this one's probably going to be about 38. This is the official measurement. 38 centimeters. Thirty-eight centimeters. I reckon the first one was about forty. What a ripper! Thirty-eight centimeter redfin. See you later, mate. <laughs> There's a difference between you know, a 40 centimetre redfin and a 40 centimetre fat redfin. These two fish that I've caught today, they're few and far between. I've been fishing for over an hour and they're the only two fish I've caught. But they've been very, very fat, very healthy fish. Very heavy 40 centimetre redfin. This trip really is about quality over quantity. Now I just had a big tangle, so I've got to tie my lure back on again. When I use a minnow, I always use a loop knot. For small minnow lures, loop knots work best. But when I'm using a soft plastic jig head, I just use a standard blood knot. Wrap the line around four or five times, pick it back through itself, and then back through again. Lube it up with a bit of saliva, in a COVID safe way of course. Bite the tail off, and there it is. 
A blood knot will work with a minnow, but because minnows like to swim, they really need to be pulled dead center. If the knot's on a bit of an angle off to one side, it can affect the swim pattern of the lure. So a, a loop knot will allow it to sort of centralize on the knot and swim true. Whereas with a soft plastic like this, it just works however you want it to work. And what I'm doing, for those wondering how I'm actually working this, I cast it out, let it sink, let's just hit the bottom now, then I'll just bob it back in nice and slow. Give it three or four yanks, let it sink, three or four yanks, let it sink. And what that's doing is just, I don't know whether you can see it on camera there or not, but it's just, the tail's wiggling like mad, and it's just bouncing up and down. It just looks like something that's alive and maybe wounded or swimming or whatever. It just looks like something that a redfin would like to have in its tummy. That's all you got to do. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Let it sink, it's shallow over there. Then just bob it, bob it back, trying to keep it close to the bottom. Oh, got him. Oh, I paused. I heard a, uh, I looked, heard a crow. I looked up and I was just about to say crazy crow. And as I paused, my line took off. Another nice fish. Don't think he's as big as the other two. No, he's not. But he's still a nice red fin all the same. I could hear a crow. And I just stopped. And I looked up and all of a sudden I felt my line pull. He actually grabbed it and swam with it. Can I get in there or is it too deep? <laughs> I know I can get in here and land this fish by the looks of it. Another lovely redfin. I'm putting this one at around about 34, 35. Come on, mate, I'll grab you this way. Bloody ripper. You beauty, I've got another measurement and another photo. But there it is. Another lovely, fat, plump redfin of around, I'm guessing 33 to 34 centimetres, this one. 33. So I've got an approximate 40, a 38, and a 33 centimetre. You ripper. Just have a look at him. And I'll put him back. I don't know how the underwater release is going to go, but I'll give it a try. Beauty! Now, if you've liked this video, or if you want some more tips on how to catch redfin, then why not check out my redfin playlist? It's got over 130 videos all about redfin fishing.